the Middle Ages, the time between the fall of Rome and the Renaissance. Over the next three modules, we will discuss the early Middle Ages. You will be looking into the Byzantine Empire, the Kingdom of Rus, and the spread of Christianity. Next is the Holy Roman Empire and the Carolingian Dynasty. Finally, in the third week, we will look at the lords, knights, and peasants of feudal Europe. We will be discussing Viking invasions giving rise to feudalism and manorialism, and after that, William the Conqueror's conquest of England. During this lesson, you will complete several discussion boards and have a group project to complete. For the project, you will be assigned a partner or two who will create a presentation that will be due at the end of week three. Topics will be chosen from the list provided. You will be making an infographic detailing the spread of Christianity in Europe. One of the before mentioned discussions is based on the interrogation and comparing and contrasting of two images. Both are of the baptism of Clovis, but different artists approximately 300 years apart. You will use graphic organizers to help walk you through the process of interrogating the paintings, then compare and contrast them. Then we will discuss them the Carolingian family ruling the Franks. That is the story of Charles Martel, Pippin the Short, most famously Charles the Great, or better known as Char. Remember, history isn't about the dates, it is about the people, so we will talk about men like William Marshall, who is called the greatest knight ever, or Saint Olga, who as regent for her son, was able to get revenge for the murder of her husband, the Prince of Verus, still fit in time to spread Christianity. And last but not least, we will also talk about the Do Doomsday Books, the survey of England after the Norman Conquest. This book tells us about lives from over a thousand years ago. This is the history of Europe before the Renaissance and still has effects today.